Hi, I'm Jake. Today I will introduce substrate and the substrate version of Mars Master Material. Before using it, it is recommended that you open the substrate scene in the content samples project to learn about it. First is this red warning. It is recommended to make a copy of the project and enable substrate. Because substrate will automatically convert the open material into the substrate version, it cannot be restored if you save the file. Enable substrate in the project settings. In addition, when using the substrate version of Mars Master Material, you must also enable support for opacity mask in the virtual texture. Restart UE. The substrate material breaks through the three limitations of the PBR material. The first limitation is the blending of materials, or more precisely, the blending of shading models. PBR can only achieve threshold blending and not a linear transition between two materials. Since the metallic parameter separates metal and non-metal materials, a linear transition between the two cannot be achieved. The second limitation is that the specular scalar parameter cannot achieve chromatic specular, and thus wave optical phenomena such as thin film interference, iridescence, and pearlescence cannot be achieved. The third limitation is that specular value limits the maximum value of IOR, non-metallic materials with higher IOR, such as semiconductors or gemstones can only be represented as dielectrics. When the PBR specular value is the maximum value 1, BSDF F0, which is the specular value facing the camera, is 0.08, and IOR is 1.788, which cannot be higher. The first and second limitations are easy to understand. How about the third one? This diagram shows the relationship between specular, F0, and IOR. When the specular value is 0, F0 is 0 and IOR is 1. When the specular increases, F0 and IOR increase. When the specular value is 0 0.5, F0 is 0 0.04 and IOR is 1.5. When the specular value reaches 1, F0 is 0 0.08 and IOR is 1.788, the highest value. Due to the limitation of the maximum specular value of 1, increasing F0 or IOR is impossible. Next, let's use the substrate metalness to diffuse albedo and F0 helper node to observe the relationship between the three classic parameters of PBR's base color, metallic and specular, and the diffuse albedo and F0 of substrate BSDF. The switch is currently off, indicating that F0 is being observed. The metallic is zero, indicating that the material is non-metallic. When the specular is 0, F0 is 0 0.08. If you lower the specular to 0, F0 will also become 0. The base color does not affect F0. When we switch to metal material, we will immediately find that F0 turns black. The specular does not affect F0. However, adjusting the base color will affect F0. Note that the base color is a three-dimensional vector and F0 changes from a scalar to a vector. Next, we switch to diffuse albedo for observation. When the metallic is 0, the base color but not the specular will affect the diffuse albedo. When the metallic is 1, Neither the specular nor the base color will affect the diffuse albedo, which remains at zero. If the metallic is between zero and one, you can see the transition between metal and non-metal materials. Just look at this table and you will get the idea. Next, look at the official introduction to substrate materials and the corresponding function switches of the substrate version of Mars Master Material. This image shows a linear blend of dielectric and metal materials using a horizontal blend. The second image introduces the control of F0 and F90 of metal material. F90 or edge specular color is the specular color at an angle away from the camera. 
Next is the iridescence or pearlescence effect produced by thin film interference. Using PBR, it is only possible to simulate using special methods. However, please note that the specular color in the example should be connected to the F0 slot instead of the diffuse albedo one. Next is to use haze to control the secondary roughness. The rough refraction result is achieved by controlling roughness and transmittance. When using PBR, this effect can only be simulated through scene color post-process material. Fuzzy is cloth. For clear coat, BSDF is achieved by vertically blending the second layer of the slab with the bottom layer. For slabs are used in the example the base layer, the middle layer, the coat layer, and the dirt layer. So when should we choose substrate? If you need more realistic materials, especially to break through the three limitations of PBR and achieve linear material blending, chromatic specular color, or true IOR, choose substrate. Substrate provides two new material blending methods, horizontal and vertical blending. Horizontal blending is similar to PBR material blending but allows for linear transitions. Vertical blending is a more advanced blending method that takes the actual thickness of the material for physical calculations to achieve more realistic results. Other than that, PBR is enough. BSDF effects such as thin film interference, second roughness, transmittance, cloth, and clear coat can all be achieved in PBR. Let's look at the project of the PBR version of the Mars Master Material. Base color and edge base color can simulate F0 and F90, and the IOR can control the transition between them. We can use the scene color to simulate rough refraction. We can simulate iridescent and pearlescent effects very freely. You can use the fake reflection and refraction functions for the lack of reflection and refraction effects. Now you can see the modular functions and material flow of the single layer Mars master material. Two more nodes at the end of the material flow to convert the PBR material into substrate material. Most of the material properties are packaged into the front material of substrate, and the remaining PBR properties such as opacity, opacity mask, WPO, AO, IOR, PDO, and displacement are still connected separately. With this conversion node, PBR materials can be used directly in the substrate environment, but the disadvantage is that the advantages of substrate cannot be brought into play. Let's look at the substrate version material. The front half is the same as the PBR one, except the pearlescent effect has been removed. However, the material flow is split into PBR and BSDF after passing through the substrate function node. The clear coat and all global effect functions after that have two parallel PPR and BSDF material flows. Finally, PBR will continue with displacement DFAO and wind and connect to the material. The BSDF material flow is directly connected to the front material. After a reasonable material flow design, I use substrate blending for all functions involving material blending for the best result. Next, let's look at layered materials. Mars Master Material provides up to four substrate layers. This 0-2L means the base layer plus two layers, a total of three. This 0-3L means a total of four. A prompt appears, indicating that the material is too complex and automatic simplification is enabled. The simplification of substrate is to use parameters to blend materials. If you are interested, you can look at the relevant part of the content samples project. Open the layered material function node. You can see three material layers and two mask layers. The structure is the same as the PBR version. The difference is that the blending of BSDF materials is added and the switching between vertical and horizontal modes is provided. The mask layer is connected to the mix value to control the horizontal blend.
The mask layer also controls the weight of the top layer and the thickness of the top layer controls the vertical blending. This is the special feature of the Mars Master Substrate Layered Material. Next, let's look at the samples. This is a metal material. This is leather material. This is a horizontal blend of the two materials. This is the vertical blend after controlling the weight of the leather layer. This is a glass material with thin film interference. These two are metal and dielectric materials with thin film interference. This one adds a clear coat layer to the leather. This adds a fuzzy effect to the leather. This is a three-layer material. The bottom layer of stone, the middle layer of gold, and the top layer of repair paint. Next I demonstrate how to adjust the parameters of the Mars Master Substrate material. On a bright sunny day, the birds start to sing. As the gentle breeze blows, it dances on my skin. I feel the warmth of the sun filling up the air. It's like a symphony of nature everywhere. The sound of the waves crashing along the shore. The rustle of leaves as they fall to the floor. The rhythm of raindrops hitting the ground. It's a harmony of nature's music all around. Thank you for watching.